there is no gainsaying in the fact that domestic violence, rape, child abuse, and other societal ills has become a worrisome nightmare, a canker worm eating into homes, tearing families apart, and causing a lifetime of unhealed wounds to many. When in other climes of the world, technological advancement has assumed the new order, but it is a pity that Africa, on her part, is busy modernizing slavery and some other societal ills. What a pity we are where we are. For the purpose of this docudrama, we shall focus on child abuse and its forms. What then is child abuse? According to an online organization, Child Matters, child abuse is the harming, ill-treatment, abuse, neglect, or deprivation of any child or young person. There are many forms of child abuse, which could be emotional abuse, neglect, physical abuse, sexual abuse, to name a few. It is necessary to state that children are sometimes abused by other adults on whom they are dependent, such as nursery workers, teachers, and sports coaches. Sometimes, Abuse is intentional, but not always. If parents or caregivers are no longer able to cope with caring for the child, this can result in dysfunctional behavior and abuse. Child abuse can happen at any place and at any time, and our dear country, Nigeria, is no exception. It is, however, against this backdrop that the students of Mass Communications Department, Kwara State University, Malite, Bida Campus, took it upon themselves to put together a short docudrama on a typical practice of child abuse. However, the aim of this docudrama is not just to entertain you, but to also find a way to put an end to this societal predicament if not to the barest minimum. I will take him to school. The next time you will see Prosper, I bet you will not know him because okay. I will take very, very good care of Prosper. Don't worry. Okay, thank you very much. Everything is in your hand. I pray God to help you. It's okay. Don't worry. I will take care of Prosper. Okay? Bye. And will take care of you. Oh, it's okay, my brother. And... For everything that has happened, I want you to take heart. You know you have other children that you need to take care of. So you take heart and may the Lord comfort you. As for Prosper, don't worry. I will take very good care of him. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, sister. You're welcome. Self joy. Because he doesn't want to go and sell for me. Oh yeah, let me see. 
Stand up. Well, you must go and say this one time. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Drink this thing. You must go. When you come back in the evening, you come back and come and drink it again. By the time you reach here now, you'll be okay. You understand me? Just sell all the pure water so that you come back quick and come and eat your food. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Sell it all. Mm -hmm. If you want to eat, you sell it all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sell well. Though. Sell well. Hey! What happened? You don't want to go outside the water. What happened? Hey! What? What happened? What happened? What happened? Hey! I am dead though! Who will help me? Who will help me? Hey! I am dead though! Who will help me? Wonders shall never end. What a wicked world. Who can imagine that in 21st century, Africa will still be challenged with serious cases of child abuse? This is a story of a young boy whose gross brutality and abuse by his own paternal aunt will leave no less of tears rolling down your face. Prosper was just six when his biological mom passed on. His dad, a mere scavenger who could hardly fend for himself and his family for decades, has been surviving on his late wife's petty trade. What a painful death. When hope seems to have been lost for Papa Prosper, there she appears, offering to lend a helping hand by taking Prosper with her to the city to care for him. You can imagine the joy on Papa Prosper's face, even when it's obvious that Aunt Grace was deported from Italy over child trafficking and other related offenses. But then, what can a helpless man do in a situation like this? Child of you, it is anything done or refuses to be done that affects the child either by a person and institution or group of persons it means what you're supposed to do for your child that you refuse to do or what you're not supposed to do to a child that you end up doing is what we refer to poor prosper's first task was to do house chores, which is a regular and a normal thing, until he was introduced into hawking by his aunt, Grace. Prosper dares not to return home if the bags of Sasha water he was given is not sold. He was starved to the extent he was even denied water. Prosper's hope of acquiring Western education was dead before arrival. Prosper fell ill and was not given proper attention. Instead, his peculiar task doubled. When Prosper's condition got worse, Aunt Grace bought local herbs, popularly known as Agbo, mixed with tramadol, thinking after Prosper takes it, he will regain energy to continue with his tedious task. But guess what? Prosper died and he was buried without consulting his dad and when he later found out all he could say was rest in peace my son there are many prospers out there experiencing child abuse or being abused one way or another and don't know how to speak out or voice out due to fear or intimidation if not for nemesis that pushed aunt grace into confessing her crimes we wouldn't have been able to tell Prosper's pathetic story. And as for you, who is still in the dastard act, we urge you to stop before the law catches up with you, just like Aunt Grace.